Scientists in the Philippines are trying to genetically enhance native water buffalo to boost their milk production. They want to cross the native cattle with a Hungarian breed and clone them. Margaret Ortigas explains. To many Filipinos, the Carabao is man's best friend. About a million U.S. dollars changes hands at this weekly cattle market where the native water buffalo is sold and traded. They not only help farmers work their fields, but are also used as a source of meat and milk. Experts here say it's a healthier alternative to cows. Over the last 10 years, the Philippine Carabao Center has been working on improving the native breed to develop what they're calling a super carabao. Bulgarian water buffaloes have been brought in and are being artificially inseminated. This breed of carabao produces 15 kilos of milk a day. That's 15 times more than the native carabao does. Because we would like to help the farmers, the milk that the carabao is, be, uh, is producing is not only for the cup, so they have, uh, uh, have milk uh, for their family, and if uh, still some excess, they will sell it and additional income for, for them. Dr. Atabai is also leading scientists here working on cloning the first carabao. They see this as a faster way to increase the population of the super breed. In the last year, some 20 cloned embryos were implanted in potential mothers, but all failed to deliver a calf. As the lab work continues, there are signs of successes elsewhere. The center has put several hundred Bulgarian carabaos out to pasture in the local communities. This farmer was one of the lucky ones. He says because of this super carabao, he put his three children through school, built a house and was able to buy a tractor. He also said he makes the same amount in two months that used to take him a year to earn. Many other Filipino farmers now live in hope that it's just a matter of time before science can turn the poor man's cattle into his treasure trove. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Nueva Ecija, the Philippines.